What's up guys, LH Low Tech, and this is gonna be a quick unboxing of the Cetus 3D Extended Mark II. So this is the so this is the Cetus 3D printer. Extended means it's the model that can print higher, uh, 280 millimeters, I believe, as opposed to 160, 175, as well as the Mark II edition, which means it has a few design fixes that plagued the, the first edition. So this should be the latest and greatest from Cetus. This was sent to me for review, but there are no stipulations about what I can and cannot say. So let's go ahead and start the unboxing. Bowden tube. Maybe this is extra, I'm not sure. Filament, uh, three different kinds of starter filament, but they're all the same kind and color. So, but I guess that works. It kind of looks like they could, they could have put a full, like half kilo at least in there. Three prong cable right there. Not the same kind you get in a PC, but still three prong, so it's easy to replace. This is an, a USB A to B cable. So that's a pretty nice one here. Clear covering, more like a braided kind of material. I believe this is here so you can build the filament holder. Oh, here's the instruction guide. Quick start. It does come in a large variety of languages. So if you are buying this from outside the US and you happen to speak Russian or Japanese or Chinese or Arabic or whatever, they are all in here. Uh, clippers, and that's really interesting that it's like a retail package of of wire cutters or miniature pliers, but really they're for cutting plastic PLA. Um, but yeah, that's really interesting that they gave us a retail package. Okay. More pieces here. Uh, this is the same stuff they used to build the rest of the machine. Here. This is the extruder assembly, so definitely some <laughs> assembly required, but that's here, little fan. Here, this is a 3D printed part here, so there are some 3D printed parts inside. So this is 3D printed as well. This red piece is rubber, so that's not 3D printed, but so a few 3D printed parts. Put that off to the side. Let's see, this is the power adapter. So it uses the same four prong, the three prong plug we just saw earlier, plugs into the device and this is from 100 to 240 volts, so it'll be the same one that's included in different countries. Only thing that's different would be that plug here. So if you need any of the specs off of this, that's included there. Keep going with the unboxing. Let's see. Build plate uh, definitely has already been used. I believe they test this before it comes out. Although, they didn't really do a good job of taking out whatever was printed here last. So, you gotta see that on here. Looks like this was part of the test PLA and this might need to be just scraped off, but. It is a very textured surface, so kind of something like, uh, it's a little bit more rough than say like powder coated iron or steel, but should give it a good surface, although it will put a little bit of a texture on the bottom of your prints. Oops. 
and that was wrapped in wax paper. Uh, parts. All the little pieces and doodads that you will need to assemble the printer. Potential, oh, and also you can kind of see in here that it does have uh, additional print uh, extruder pieces. Uh, it does come with three, at least I believe it comes with three, 0.2 millimeters, 0.4 millimeters, and a 0.6 millimeters. So that's the only printer I know of, or this is the only printer I know of that does come with all three different sizes. But there you go. So if you are looking to print very fast, you use 0.6. If you want to print really a high detail, 0.2. And higher detail than most people can print. Spatula made in Germany. Or maybe that's just the company name, I'm not sure. Uh, not sure what order this thing needs to come out in. All right, here is the top part of the printer with the Z-axis motor as well as uh, this is probably the X-axis, or sorry, this is the X-axis motor and this is the Z-axis here. Uh, and this is the extended version, so this would probably be the only part that's different between any of the different versions because X-axis should be roughly uh, about the same between all of them. It would just be the Z-axis that's different in the extended version. I will say I do like that they are using, you know, the, the soft foam or however you want to call this as opposed to like packing peanuts or something that actually comes off in little pieces. Always a nice touch because I hate getting those little pieces all around my office. And let's see, it's one piece, it, it is, okay, I believe that is everything. So, and this is the Y axis as well as the base and electronics. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So, this looks like power, obviously, power switch, USB. This does have Wi Fi, so you can print using Wi Fi, power switch, LED light. And that's kind of about it. Extruder motor, looks like the ribbon cable. Um, it's actually a nice braided ribbon cable here too. So definitely does a, a little bit more premium than something you would build yourself. Uh, notably, there is no heated bed on this device. You actually need to get that separately. I believe it's still in beta. That'll attach onto here. And this is to build your filament spool piece there, there, and here. So this would be everything that comes with the printer. Uh, definitely everything you will need, especially if they, since they did include the, the clippers, so it really makes it easy to, to cut the PLA in order to, to, put, to push it in to the, the extruder. Um, that's not all printers come with that, at least uh, not all of them that I've owned, at least. Um, it doesn't have, not quite as full featured as the AnyCubic, since it didn't come with a full PLA piece. It didn't come with, I know, pretty much the kitchen sink worth of stuff, um, like tweezers and things like that. But for the most part, this should get you up and running for a little bit. Um, the, the biggest shortcoming is not having any more PLA than this, but this should do, you know, three small prints at least. So definitely some assembly required here too. So this might look a little bit more daunting than say the AnyCubic or even like the Mono Price because those were almost assembled, maybe just a few screws and that's about it. This is going to take um, a little bit more, um, as you can tell by parts back, but not too bad. Uh, obviously all the motors are installed here too. So let's go ahead and get this built.
Okay, so they did not include a screwdriver. So, obviously most people are gonna have them, but it is not included. So, oddly, they want you to keep in one of these screws, which is really odd because then you're going to have a hole right here. Obviously, having screws on the top is not necessarily ideal anyways, but you're going to have a hole there. All right, the next step is to software install. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. Camera battery actually died in the middle of that, but this is the end result. And for a first print, for being something so complicated and I adjusted no settings and had no idea how to use this particular piece of software, I think it turned out reasonably well. I mean, it's not perfect. There are definitely a little bit of, of drooping uh, where it didn't necessarily adhere each layer perfectly but for the most part everything looks looks pretty good uh, and so i wanted to print something else that was something i'm a little more familiar with so i printed this little gengar and the only difference this time is that i printed it on the fine setting as opposed to the normal setting not sure exactly what that changes i'm gonna guess it changes the, the speed of the print um, but this took about four hours or three hours and uh, this took about two um, but he came out almost perfect where this little bit was again there's just a tiny bit of of drooping at the bottom right by his hands um, but overall this is a, a really nice print and you know I'm really happy with the results uh, it was a little bit more difficult to set up uh, as somebody who has set up a, a number of 3D printers already, uh, just because it is very different. Um, and it's definitely uh, it's a lot more in pieces. It is a lot more assembly required than uh, both the Monoprice and the, the Anycubic. But overall, it's been, uh, it, it was, you know, pretty straightforward. And once you kind of follow the directions, maybe you read ahead a little bit. We are going to have a number of videos coming out about the CDIS, especially with its software and some of the unique features that it offers that a lot of 3D printers don't, uh, just because of the up software that it uses. Uh, so stay tuned for that. 
But thanks for watching, guys. This is LH Low Tech, and this has been a quick unboxing and first prints on the Cetus Mark II Extended. Subscribe.